Welcome back to No Redemption Outdoors, fellas. I appreciate you stopping by, and here we are in the home studio. And uh, today I'm going to start something new to the channel. I have set up a tank so that now we can test our soft plastics every month when we do our box openings. So I have to give credit to Bass Box and Outdoors. He's the guy who uh, gave me the idea, but I should shout out props also to Goondocks and Foulmouth Fishing because they both have done these as well. And all three of these guys have inspired me. Now that being said, as the irredeemable that I am, I, I'm not satisfied to just do things the way most normal people would do them. As a contrarian, I always have to do things differently. Well, with that in mind, I thought, well, let's bring out the Popeil Pocket Fisherman, and we will rig this up with our soft plastics, and we will test them out. Now, some of you guys out there, this might be a blast from the past for you. Some of you guys might be saying, what the hell is that thing? Well, <laughs> we'll do a separate video on that, but, you know, in, in the spirit of always being different, I figured I'd use this each and every time we do a tank test, and uh, it'll add a little flavor, I suppose. For this week's test, tank test, or for this video, I should say, we're going to test three of the soft plastics from the most recent Mystery Tackle Box. This would be the November 2020 Mystery Tackle Box. I selected three of the soft baits that they included. The first will be the net bait, uh, the uh, dagger. The second will be the vertical, what are we calling this? The vertical Kraxen. I'm very intrigued by this one. And then the last one is Bruiser Bait, Crazy Craw. So with that, let's head over to the tank and we'll uh, test these baits out. And I appreciate you stopping by. Fellas, here we are at the tank. Our first bait up is going to be the uh, the net bait dagger, four and a half inch. Now I've rigged this up as a Texas rig and also as a uh, trailer on a jig, on a black and blue jig. So we'll take a look at each one. Now this, I as I examine it, I don't know. I think the Texas rig might not be the right presentation for this bait as I'm examining that. But let's see what it looks like in the tank. All right. If you're just kind of digging it along the bottom, but kind of like I thought, uh, not a lot of action. I suppose if you've got some, yeah, it doesn't even float. So that's probably, probably not how I would do this one. What do you guys think? Would you uh, Texas rig this? Maybe swim it back. Let's see how it looks if I try to do that. The tank's not very big, but let's see. Yeah, even that's unremarkable, to be honest with you. All right, here we go with the net bait dagger. And we have it on a uh, jig as a trailer. And... I'll be honest with you, that's so much better. That, that seems much more where this bait wants to be. What do you guys think? <laughs> Even the goldfish are looking at it. Yeah, not too bad, huh? Alright, we're going to switch it up now to the next bait, so... We're going to switch it up to the next bait, so stand by. <clears throat> All right, next one up is the vertical Kraxen. Let's see if we can get you a view of that there. Kraxen by uh, Vertical Fishing or ver Vertical Lures. And I got this one rigged up again as a Texas rig. I'm very curious about this with these appendages that it has. So let's see what she does. Uh, first off, it's very buoyant, which uh, 
which I like. Okay, that's cool. Look at the much more action there than there was on the net bait. Like that. Just... Alright, let's see what it looks like if I just kind of swim it a little bit. It's kind of hard to do in this tank, but maybe erratically let it fall. Okay. Well, let's take a look now as a trailer. All right, we're going to carry on now with the vertical cracks and as a trailer on a jig. Now, FYI, I did cut about an inch off of the bait before I put it on here. And uh, you be the judge whether I cut enough off or too much. But there it is as a jig. Or, I'm sorry, as a trailer. Again, those appendages, they are, um, because they are very buoyant and I see I consider them to be different than most other soft plastics I think it's something different you know it's better it's a different presentation all right well what do you think guys not bad I like that Give me a comment down below what do you think of this, the uh, vertical cracks in black and blue is the color. Alright, third and final bait is the bruiser bait, Crazy Craw, this is a four count, uh, the color is MTB Crazy Craw, Bammer Hammer, I don't know what the color is, there's so many things on there, I just li listed them all. So. This one, I think, will make a great Texas rig. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to tell you what comes to my mind instantly when I see that is uh, smallmouth. It's it's kind of a... It's very reminiscent of a tube bait, but with these uh, craw... The craw... Uh, what do you call them? Claws or whatever. But I do think that'll work quite well with the with the small mouth as well as the, the large mouth. I like that bait. What do you guys think? Draw me a comment down below. What do you think? All right. Well, let's get a look at it as a trailer. I um, boy, as I'm looking at this right now, I don't see that as a trailer so much. But let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. We got her set up as a trailer now. Kind of a strange color combination, but uh, go with it. Again, I think it does well. It's, uh, I think it works well that way. Put down in the middle of the leaves there. I like it, guys. I, I would use that both ways. I, I, I take it back. I, I didn't think it would make a good trailer, but indeed. Works well either way. So, what do you guys think? I, I I would appreciate any input you guys might be able to offer as far as different ways to rig these baits or what your what your opinions are. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and say thank you for stopping by No Redemption Outdoors. Uh, I will invite you to stop by Instagram and Facebook. Say hello. Drop a comment down below. Again, let me know what you think of uh, of these baits and also what do you think of this segment that we. That we've introduced now with our tank test uh, all that being said it's time to sign off and you know I have to put my face in the camera to do that so bear with me I'm just gonna say until we meet again guys take care <laughs> Yeah, it's a